I've been waiting for this delivery for so long! Sammy, come here! There are so many craft items here! We don't need that… Oh my head off! So dark! Sorry, Sammy! I can see light again! I'm saved! It's alright, it's just a box. I wanted to throw it out and… Ah, just a box? Throw it out? Did you forget what boxes are made out of? From cardboard. Oh, I see what you're getting at. This box can be used in a cardboard craft. That's more like it. You taught me to recycle things yourself. And I. A moment. Here. It looks like a. Uh, oh! Bowling! Yes! I found this idea a long time ago, but I kept forgetting it, or there was no time. And I've got bowling pins. Go and fetch them while I start making cardboard pieces. Let's do it! Hi, guys! Today, we're going to make a mini bowling game from cardboard. This small? Yes, Sammy. It's just what we need. But we need more. Then I'll keep searching! All right, and I'll start making the craft. First, I'll glue together the biggest pieces, the bottom and these side walls, just like this. Ha! These walls look like an umbrella handle! Yeah, or a fish hook. Sam, did you find all the pieces? Uh, almost. Can you find them all, not almost? I think this is right. Deal! And I'll continue. Another side wall right here. And here's the back wall. Done! You might think finding bowling pins is an easy task. But we've got mini pins here, so I'll arm myself with a tool and start searching. Uh-huh. Uh Aha! Uh -huh. The second pin is found! Inspired, I continue. And subscribe to the channel, please, to support my inspiration. We'll set this part at an angle like this, so the balls can roll back along it. Balls? Roll back? What about me? When will you make a slide for me? You have so many cardboard crafts and toys, and you want a slide? Yes, for fun. There can't be too much fun. So here's another pin, and I'm off to continue the search. Hurry up, please. I'll need the pins very soon. The bowling balls will roll out of here. Uh, what's that? It's glue, but don't worry, we'll put stickers there. So untidy. We'll glue a stopper to make sure they don't roll too far. And this piece will cover the front. Since we have a mini bowling pin here, we won't be able to take a run. So we're going to make a ski jump for the balls instead. I'll use super glue to attach a strip of flexible cardboard to the halves of the slide. Nice and slow. A slide again? And no slides for poor Sam. But you'll get a whole bowling alley, just your size. Fine, fine. I'll be happy with the bowling. <laughs> oh, so you can be happy too, not only grumpy. <laughs> the jump for the balls should be able to move, so let's attach these holders on both sides. I'll use hot glue for that. Remember to be very careful when you work with hot glue. Now I'm attaching the jump with a stick. The jump should have the same openings as the ones in the holders. There. And now I'll cut off the excess. Carefully. Watch your fingers. Awesome! Right. The last and most important part of our bowling alley will be something like a roof. Doesn't bowling require something more important than a roof? What, Sam? So you're scaring me! Pins, of course! Really? Who would have thought? Well, I already have two. Oh! That's why I hurried to bring you the rest. Finally! And where's... Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Please fetch me a lid from a bottle. Will do! Now, we need to pull the threads through this piece. It's part of the mechanism to return the pins to their initial position. Huh. A plastic bottle lid. Easier said than done. Huh. Maybe I should take a saucepan lid. We'll have a saucepan bowling! <laughs> Okay, no, buying a bottle lid it is. Okay, here's the bottle. No lid. Looks like I have to use my search skills again. Right. Let's carefully glue this piece in place. And this piece with a triangle on top. Oh! Did you forget this? No, Sammy, I'll need this piece too. You need to pull all the threads through it well. Awesome. Ah, 
Sam, I can't see a bottle lid anywhere in your vicinity, Sam. It's because there's a bottle, but no lid. I suspect Fluffy or Tater Tots. They probably need the lid for something. Oh, Sammy, they don't need it. Just look on the floor. Maybe it rolled off. Fine, I will. I need to secure the threads with glue. I'm ready! Ready for what? Bowling! I've got a fitting hat here. If it's your unusual way to bring me a bottle lid, I appreciate it. Thank you. Give it here, actor slime. We glued another triangle here. It'll be the base for our lid. And the lid will be the handle for our pin lifting mechanism. Wow, so smart! Just cardboard, but what technology! <laughs> right, I only need to glue the front panel. Susie, what about decorating? Oh, of course, Sammy. Can't do without it. Maybe you have something suitable in your sticker collection? I'll go look! I've looked! That's some speed! Susie, it's decorating! How can it be any other way? Look at all these awesome stickers I found! Well done! Let's stick them on! This looks awesome! And you, Sammy, can decorate the walls! It's coming out really cool! It sure is! Let's place another one here. And cover the spots here. Sue, what about the balls? Oh, bring them in. I'll be right back. All right, and I'll draw one more detail. Here! Will these do? They will. Let's place them in here. Let's start! Ready, steady, go! Yay! Right, game on! Another ball and... Aw, man! <sighs> Fine, I'll aim better. And... Yes! Awesome! Let me try it now! Okay! And here! Go, go, go! <gasps> Yahoo! Wow! Did you see that? Did you? Almost a strike! Yes! Yes! Right! Right a bit here! And uh, here! Do it, Sue! Aha! Yeah! <laughs> yes! 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 Up you go! Awesome! <laughs> it feels like I can keep playing this bowling forever! Everything ends, Susie! Our game and this video, too! But if you want to see even more videos, don't forget to press the bell button not to miss a new video when it's out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Perhaps you'll want to make this bowling alley together. You can start thinking of a new craft and I'll stay here. All right, bye guys, see you soon. Sam Ames and... Hi guys, I've got awesome news for you. I'm playing football professionally now. Practicing to play it professionally, I mean. Huh? Do you like football, guys? Write in the comments, who's your favorite player? So what are you talking about here without me? Oh, hi, Sue. Just, uh, some stuff. Oh, look. It's Lionel Messi. And I like Cristiano Ronaldo. Wait, you like football? <laughs> well, I'm not a fan, but I do have favorite players. And I'm planning to become an awesome first in the world slime football player! Uh, what? I can see that you're not on good terms with the training yet. Do you want me to help you? Are you kidding? Of course I do! To make our training field, we're going to need a cardboard base and some green craft foam. I need to glue the craft foam neatly, like this. So, is it true that football players get million dollar contracts? I think so, but you need to train a lot for that. Hey, where's my soft fluffy lawn? <laughs> we won't need it. But we'll need some walls to make sure the ball doesn't fly too far. Good thing. 
thinking. I've got a powerful kick. Yes, I witnessed your training session. Oh, that was an accident. Forget it. Guys, have you already written the name of your favorite football player in the comments below? Can't wait to read them. I'm sure Messi will get the biggest number of comments. No! Ronaldo! Right, guys? While Sam is making the next pieces, I'll start on making the markings on our field. It is very important to have these markings on a real football field. They mark the center of the field, the sidelines, the penalty area… A uh, real field? Isn't our field real? No, it's a training field. Did you bring the pieces? Phew! Yes, I did. But I have to train, not cut cardboard. Let's see what Sam cut out here. They seem right. We need to assemble a vertical structure. Getting ahead of things, I need to say that this structure has to be really sturdy. And here comes the last piece. I'll glue it like this. Done! Huh, I don't like the color of the cardboard. We need to fix this. For example, using this background with a crowd. Sue, so, I've been thinking. Do you think our viewers will be upset if I become a football player? Uh, I don't think so. You'll still be a cute pink slime. Ahem, the first slime football player, actually. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Guys, I forgot about the goal. Let's try making it using these wooden sticks and some paper. We'll need 11 paper sticks of different sizes. While I'm making the goal, I need to give a task to Sam. Sam! What's the matter? Please, decorate these balls to make them look like football balls. Do you remember how we made basketball balls? I do, but are you sure? Of course, you're a real football player. You'll manage. And I'll start assembling the goal. It'll be this wide. Great, it looks like it's holding. Now we only need the net. Goal! Oh, <laughs> I need to make the net. And fast. Hmm. I'll weave it in a magical way. Abracadabra and done! And now onto the most important step. We'll need to glue these pieces over this big red arrow. It's made of cardboard. We'll start with these pieces. And we need to glue them onto each other to create the height we need. There. Now let's place some parallel straight pieces. We'll take it nice and slow. Two pieces go here. And two pieces go there. Everything must be neat and straight. Two more pieces made of wooden sticks go here. It'll be the base for… well, you'll soon see for yourselves. And we also need to set these two pieces at an angle. Great! They fit perfectly! Here! You asked me to find two identical pencils! Thanks, Sam! I'll draw some marks on the pencils. Listen, Sue, why is our football field only have one goal? Um… well, that's because there's only one slime footballer in the house. And now we'll need the drill. Sue, you're avoiding my question! We need to make the openings at the marked places. One opening on top and the other at the side. Guys, ask an adult to help you with this. It's for the craft. To insert these little sticks in there. Like this. See? And we're attaching our pencils. They go into these little chutes. Now let's add four more sticks. One. Two. Three. And four. Stick schmix. What about football? You'll see very soon. I only need to secure the rubber bands and we'll move on to the next step. I've already made the openings in the arrow and the football field. Now let's attach the arrow on the football field with the help of a pencil piece. It should rotate freely while staying in one place. Sam! Bring the balls! Yay! Training! Look! Wow! Can I give it a try? Sure! Right, the forward is on its position, and goal! So, but there's no keeper here. We'll fix it now. I'm going to play against a cardboard tube. 
No, we just need to set it here. Oh no, you'll ruin my training field too! It's all under control! By the way, I've got a surprise for you! Enough surprises for me today! I just want a field without some cardboard tubes! Here, your training team! Holy cannoli, they are awesome! I knew you'd like them! Let's set one player at the goal. And the second one near the ball! Shall we play, guys? So, Sue, are you ready? I'm at the goal! Bam! Goal! Well, let's see what you can do, Sam. Get ready, Sue! And... Yes! Goal! Susie, let's switch places! Alright, let's see how you'll do there. Susie, don't miss the goal! Uh huh? Yay! Hey, what about playing it easy? <laughs> so, I couldn't even imagine training could be so much. I'm glad you liked it. And I've also decided to not just be a football player, but the first line football player on YouTube. <laughs> I'm glad. Guys, do you like this tabletop football? Give a thumbs up if you do.